Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more MechWarrior 5 where it's been a while since I've recorded a video or a playthrough, part of my playthrough, because I moved house. I moved a hundred miles away from where I was living for a job and it took me a while to move and set myself up. I thought I had enough videos to keep me going but I missed the about a week or so of MechWarrior 5, but Battletech is fine, or was fine. Both of which have now got a new update or DLC. So there's a whole new playthrough for both of them coming. And we are looking at starting the Call to Arms playthrough for MechWarrior 5. Where we get all the melee weapons. So we get to take a look at what we can do with each of those right now. So we're going to jump into the career. We have a call to arms starting lance, basically. Starting location, starting career. We get a Phoenix 1, a Vindicator 1R, Jenna D, Spider 5R, Blackjack 1, Javelin 10N. Commando 2D and a Locust 1E. So nothing spectacular, nothing overall amazing. Uh, we're going to go with new career, and overall, I quite like it. In 2108, yeah. humanity. In 2008, humanity did some good things. They invented all these shiny mechs, basically, or the very first one, and then over the centuries, more and more were created, leading to. The Hatchet Man, which is what this is based around, basically. And no, we're not going to go with that. We are going to go with Wyvern. If I can type properly, Wyvern's Warriors. There we go. And we're going to stick with the Kesh sorry, the Kestrel Lancers logo. That's the Kestrel. Is it on here actually? No. No, it's not. There's no Kestrel Lancer sim logo. We're going to go with the hatchet symbol, which is the call to arm symbol. So let's confirm that. And we get a. That's. Uh, that'll get us a cantina mission, so that's fine. And those in need. So these are the missions for a call to arms. Of which, in there somewhere, we will get a hatchet man, I believe. Or at least something along those lines. But anyway, we are going to take a look at our starting mechs and basically take all the jump jets out of them because we don't need them. And if I remember correctly, half a bin of this. And stick that in there. Max the armor. And then we just need... To do that and two single heat sinks, Mark. Put them both in the center torso. Cool, so that means that you will run a lot colder. And we'll start the work on that. 13 days is fine by me. Same here. Jump jets, I find them really pointless. I very rarely use them. For MechWarrior 5, MechWarrior Online, not that I play that very much or very often. They're needed in there quite a bit, I would say. And I, mean, I could put an SRM4 in here. I think that might actually be a better option. Yeah, it's going to take me a few extra days, but that's fine. And then. One extra heat sink, and we'll be a little bit under tonnage. Yeah, that is fine. Oh, actually, so this is where the melee weapon symbol goes. So all the missile weapons are now green, as you can see, and as you have seen. Uh, BR Ballistic, the same, that's the same. Everything else is the same, it's just they've swapped. I don't know why entirely. They couldn't just have this as green and that as yellow, but so be it. Missiles are green now. Melee weapons are yellow. Or well, gold, really. And yeah, we can't buy any for this mech. I believe there is some on this system. There's an Assault Claymore and an Assault Katana. 
A heavy hammer fist and a heavy trench blade. I might pick some of them up before we go. There's actually several melee weapons. Cool. Anyway, we can't put them on these mechs for some reason. I, I don't know entirely why. I think they're... There is set weapons for set mechs, and you can't interchange them. Uh, the Jenna. Just losing those. Maxing the armor. And it's still not quite maxed, but it will do. Uh, the Spider. Loses the eight jump jets. Max the armor, and... If we go down half... A ton. We can put another heat sink in there, and that'll keep us cooler. Cool. But otherwise, this is just making the mechs more. How would you call it? More efficient because they will last longer. And. Down like so, and we're good. We'll put another one of those in, and done. And I think we can get rid of these. Max the armor. That's probably as good as we're gonna get there because actually, can we? We can put some light knuckles in this guy. Okay, that is worth picking up. No, cancel. Pick up those. How much do they weigh? Half a ton. I am going to drop one of those. Yeah, we don't need that much ammo, I don't think. But we got our first melee mech with light knuckles. We will give that a try out in a second. And you can't put anything in the you, sadly. Also, what do we do? I think you are staying practically the same. Yeah. So can't really change anything with you, so you're done. And then the last one is the Locust, which I might as well leave because I very much doubt I will get round to using that guy. And it's actually... Are we going to pick up all these? I think we will pick up one of each. Yeah, why not? Let's see what mechs... Uh, there's an urban mech. That's a Kader. No. It is fine. And barracks. What pilots we got? 60, 40, 40, 39, 39, 37, 39. And we can hire no one that's better. Fair enough. And let's just take a look. Is there anything good here? Pretty sure this knows when they're... F so this is what... Um, uh, update they're from, DLC they're from, and they're from the Kestrel Lancers, I believe. I think. Can't actually remember what the third one is off the top of my head, what the third DLC was. But anyway, we're done there. Let's um, go to the star map. And yeah, we can go over here to the campaign, and we are going to... So this campaign is the Call to Arms campaign, where we get some fun taking on, or getting a hatchet man, I think we get a hatchet man, I can't remember if we, we do face a hatchet man, at least one hatchet man, we will see what we get, and so let's just check the mech markets, there's a freaking charger, and a der oh, there's a dervish straight away. It's 5.9 mil 6 million Z bills basically, but that is a dervish. That's a, and that's also a charger. I mean, that's 10 million, but 9.3 9 million Z bills. I may have to sell a couple of mechs, but I might want to pick up a charger straight away. Oh, that would be hilarious. And 
and we have nothing there, and the barracks is empty. Right, let's go to star, not star map, no. Uh, contracts, there we go. So, close that. Let's get this started, and I'm going to go with all money, considering um, we have some pretty good things that we can buy on the market. And... I think the spider is going to get swapped to... Javelin? Yes, because you have the light knuckles. Uh, da, 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 da. So we're going to go there. But actually you're not, because we're going to take you. Yes. And you're, are you good? You're not good with lasers too well, actually. You are better. Nazari. Yeah. Have that. That's a good setup. And I know we're dropping with one of our lighter mechs, but sod it. It's got the punching capabilities, so that is going to be epic for us. Because we get to punch the faces of all the enemies. Problem is, we could lose the mech because it could get blown up. And also, um, weapon groups. Yeah, I don't want those on five. Actually, let's do it like that. That'll work. Not exit game. I nearly clicked exit game. That would have been a stupid big online. brain fart. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Systems fit nominal. Wanted to eliminate a lance of hatchet men suspected to be on patrol at one of the marked nav points. Be sure to approach each one with caution, Commander. While the hatchet man's signature hatchet is devastating up close, it's more than capable of splitting a mech in two after a handful of blows. Yeah, sounds like a bad day waiting to happen. And did they say lance of hatchet man? I think they did. Yay, fun times. Hopefully we don't have to fight all of them at once. That would suck. Um, hopefully there's one at each base. There's four, three bases, so there'll be one at the close of one, and two at the other one, or nothing on scopes that can be identified as our targets. Okay. We'll move on to the next nav point. No, looks like then we're going to be all on one point. Yay! Right, come here, fire starter. You're too fast for me. Oh, yeah, can't fire that high. Ooh, got him in the leg. And we're getting hearts. Okay, yeah, we... We, we didn't really do too much. And we, wow, we're red on our back already. So, this is not a very good mech for melee. No. Not. Hello. Goodies. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Come on, pick up. Stay still. Oh, I can't move. I have to be looking at it. Damn. We'll be sure to put that ammo to good use. Ah, ammo. Good, because I took some ammo out of this mech. Uh, right. Let's focus on the things ahead of me. And hopefully we don't get shot in the back because our back is looking rather broken. New target, spider. Okay, spider. Let's take it out. I think we just got shot in the back by our own friends. Thank you! For that guy. Ain't gonna last too long, I would say. You're gone. Right. Yeah, you're pretty much dead. Fine. I mean, it is. 
three on one. Even if my lance mates are not that great, they will eventually take down a spider. Okay, so I'm expecting there to be the full lance here because this is the furthest point away from our drop point. So there it is. There is a hatchet man. There's another one. There's three. Are showing all targets at this location, Commander. Yay! Approach with caution. Oh, this is gonna suck. Contact. Enemy mech in sight. I think they hit a tree. That kind of missed. That hits. Alright, go for the same one. Ah, no, arm wasn't. Torso wasn't locked out. He's gone. Uh, oh, I clipped him. Go for that one. Yeah, this guy's focused on me. Oh, he's swinging the axe. Or oh, hatchet. Yeah, this guy's nearly dead. Alright, next hatchet man. The focus on each individual one. Oh, ammo low. Okay, two bins of ammo might well be needed for the next fight. Uh, does melee damage do damage to me? I don't think so. Okay, down to an AC 10. Still scary! Gone. Gone, gone, gone. Oh, that's bad. I mean, he's lost his hatchet, but we're practically dead because he hit us with it before it got broken off. Oh, no, we've lost the arm. Um, yeah, let's go. We've lost an arm. That sucks. Break open a case of Timbiki Dark when you get back to the ship. Uh, there's an endless ply of that Timbiki Dark, isn't there, on our ship? I think everyone's an alcoholic. Please don't break me as I get out of here. Boom. Oh, no, 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 no. Wish I had some missiles left. I've still got some rear armor, it's all good. Yes, light knuckles on a light mech don't really work when taking on another bigger melee mech. So, yeah, that's not good. But, hey, we got to test out some new equipment. And, let's see, are there a pair of light knuckles? I'll take that one as well, because I have a bit feeling we're going to lose more light knuckles before this is all over. And... I've got one more pick. I mean, it's all garbage. We'll take a medium laser. We're bound to need many medium lasers over the course of this. And we didn't really take any damage. The most damage coming from our big guy. Okay, we were able to recover all four of the hatchet men. That's your lance destroyed. But their battle damage is significant. Sorry about that. In order to get them operational, we need to collect a large supply of replacement parts. We've identified some a series of locations where the Arturung guards have stored replacement actuators, myoma bundles, and weapon systems for the Hatchet Man. We'll need to conduct a, an, an objective raid to find and recover these supplies in order to repair the Lance of Hatchet Man you captured for us. We'll highlight locations in which the supplies should be located, but if it will be up to you and your lance to identify and recover any materials on site. All further tactical information has been forwarded over to Rihanna, good hunting commander. Okay, it gives us two items. I'm hoping one of those 
is a hatchet man, not just a hatchet. But let's go and it looks like it's it is on this it's on this planet, good. Although travel time would not have been completely useless. So yeah, nothing really bad there. Mech needs repairs. Oh, hang on. Did the the light knuckles survive? I'm pretty sure I I didn't quite lose the arm. It had one. No, I lost completely lost this arm, but the light knuckles are still there. I is happy with this. And how much damage? That does two and a half more damage. We might as well give it a try. Oh wait, wrong one. That one. It switched around. Cool, so we do a little bit more melee damage, like a tiny little bit more. And I'm thinking we do drop that for another bin of ammo, because it kind of is needed. Yeah. Cool. Looking good. 22 days. Fine. It's all fine. And equipment markets. Somehow. Ooh got one of those. Got one of those who got two more light knuckles. I will pick both of them up. Medium knuckles. I will pick those up. And that's all we got. Cool. So actually let's just take a look at this. Uh no, there are all my medium mechs are in for repair. But let's take a look at you for a second. Medium hand, medium hands. So you've got you can fit light knuckles as well. That's good to know. And you can fit light knuckles as well. You don't have hands and you don't have hands. Fine. So maybe we'll take a look at these two after this next battle to see whether we can fit anything to them. So, contracts. It is a campaign mission. It doesn't tell us what kind of mission, but it's an objective raid. And you'll go for money because I kind of want a nice big shiny assault mech. And yeah, let's uh, stick it as it is. 22 days, that's not a problem. And... Oh, ready up. There we go. Cool. Let's see if this... Uh, depends on whether we get any hatchet men in this mission. Men, but they currently don't have the means to repair and refit them. Their intelligence has highlighted potential locations for various supplies needed to repair and maintain the Octuran Guard's hatchet men. Our mission here is a straight up smash and grab to rob them of these supplies. We'll move on the facilities marked on your hood, collect our clients' needed components, and then get out of there before the rest of the Octuran Guards can respond. Be careful, Commander. What? Although we took out a full lance of them, the Octuran Guards reportedly still have two more lances worth of hatchetmen active in their roster. Be sure to approach each facility with caution, as those mechs can do serious damage up close. Um, why is that tank flying? <laughs> okay, something screwy went on there. Dead. Ah, oh, where's the tank that flew? It's one of these ones, I'm guessing. Oh, that's the face, you little laser bugger. Boom, and annoyingly, our back is damaged and open already. That sucks, but so be it. Cool, let's carry on. A little harasser and another one over there, actually. And there's a little beacon over there. Hmm, I wonder if it's ammo. It probably will be ammo. That's all we've got so far. Let's go see what it is. It's a shame it's not a repair. It would be lovely if it was a free repair. Always 
it's good to restock on ammo. Ammo, cool. So we got some free ammo. Okay, let's actually get into the fight because this is all not very needed, and you're still being shot at. Why have you not killed the harasser yet? Still there? It's still there. I mean, it's only got a couple of medium lasers, so it's not the most dangerous thing in the world. It's finally gone. Awesome. There's actually another harasser back there by the looks of things. But if I just push forward, hopefully they will catch up. Oh, mechs and a turret. Okay. Where be my friends? Right, you go for that, and I'm going to clear a few other bits out of the way. Or at least damage them. Got you. Nearly fired on my own Jenna just then. You be gone. Come on, Mr. Commando. New target, Commando. There goes one arm, there goes your other arm. You've got no weapon systems left. So he's gone. Oh, this is a bad idea. But we survived. Cool, right, let's carry on. Got one enemy behind us still, but I think we're okay. And we're getting hearts. And that's a wall. Target down. Um Really? I couldn't break through that little pa patch of rocks? Fine, let's go take out these turrets. Oh, and I can't get over there. Okay. Fine. Did you find the acquisition? Why? Just walk up to it in order to pick it up. Can I not get through there? Okay, then fired me off the thing entirely, but I got free and I got in, so all is good. Cool, one down. So that's all the AC tens that the patching man has. That's on to the next one. So so far one hatchet man. It did say there's two more lances of hatchet men. I hope that there are two more lances of hatchet men here in this mission, but who knows? There's a turret. We'll take out the turret. Threat eliminated. And... Weaken him a little bit. My arm is about to break. Partly because I should really be moving whilst I'm fighting. is main weapon. Ah, oh, he's gone. Damn it, I couldn't quite get him with my punching. Right, we have captured the area. There's the target. Awesome. And 
You good good. Once you've found the targeted asset, move up to it and we'll begin the recovery. It looked like the Jenna was gonna pick it up. But no. Nice Definitely not. Uh, more ballistics, okay. To... Oh, ammo explosion detected! Damn! There goes the side torso. We're going to see whether the um, Knuckles survive this time. They probably won't. They seem to have a veto right above me. Engage command and target. Got it. Yeah, we need to get out of this mission quickly because we're about to die. Although well, we can switch mechs on death, so it doesn't matter if we die in person now. Let's just hope that we don't. Oh, are we getting in? We are getting in, and that be an SRM carrier. To the treasure to pick it up. Where is it? Where is it? Aha! Tango eliminated. And done. Let's get out of here. Let's go, 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 go. Time to pull out before the rest of the Arcturan guards converge on our position. Yeah, I don't want to face anymore. There's a large big drop right behind us. I'm thinking we should be good enough to get out of here. Oh. Can I break the wall? Yes. Nice. I'm glad that that is an artillery firing on us at least, but it is artillery being fired and it's rather loud. Good to be back, and this this javelin is not really suited to uh, melee. Let's just face it. So I think uh, we're done with the melee testing on the javelin. We are now established. Making nine hundred thousand sea bills. I mean, a tier two large laser is not too bad. And some medium knuckles is worth picking up as well. Why not? Cool. So, yeah, we took some damage. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We get a hatchet man with a tier two hatchet. Awesome. So, let's take a look at you. Uh, nothing's overly amazing. We're going to drop that and we can put a medium claw in here instead of the hatchet. So you have a range of 20 meters, the claw only has a range of 19 meters, and only does has a damage of 30. There's also medium knuckles that can go in. On this side. Ah, well, we're gonna put the better quality ones in there. Do a bit more damage. And yeah, we're gonna put that in there. And you're going up there. Thinking we drop one of those to max out the armor, although it's still not maxed out. I think 40 shots will be enough. It's still not maxed out, but it's getting there. Yeah. I want to remain mobile, so we're going to take that. So we've got max armor, side torso. It's just legs and heads, which is fine, I think. Cool, 14 days until that's ready, and we've got a slightly better melee. Okay, so 31 days until that's ready. Yeah, that's fine, that's not a problem. And you've got a little bit broken. But let's take a look at you. 
you can have medium knuckles. And they weigh one ton. Repair all. So if I drop one of those, I can put that in there. Do I? Why not? Let's give everyone melee weapons. 18 days, that's not a problem. And you. We might well have been able to put the thing in here, but obviously we don't have any. We don't have any small lower arms. Okay, so nothing's available on the market. Fine. We do have a tier 2 large laser. I think that might be a better option. Can I put a medium laser in there? I can. And we have max everything out. Armor is not maxed out already. So it's then just a case of... Two more heat sinks. For now. And... Yeah, go like that. So we can fire the large laser more often. Because we've got a medium laser to back us up as well. And all... Oops. It's good. That is 44 days. Oh dear. You don't really need too much. That's good. No, wrong button. That's five days. And you... Did we... We didn't lose the knuckles. Look at that. And we now have... Tier 2 ones. We did lose the SRM, but... We can replace it. That's not a problem. Awesome. Fine. 38 days. Ooh. Okay, we have another transmission. Let's see. Uh, fix the cantinas. Good. And those in need, part three. The independent people of Sky have come to learn that Tobias Klein is stationed here on Ben Fled with the Arturan... Gars. Tobias is the eldest son of Emma Klein, who sits on the Defiance Industries Board of Directors. We believe that Tobias's current station may be the reason Defiance and the Archon, Archon have shown such clear favouritism towards the Arcturan Guards. We're tasking your lance with finding Tobias and his catapult and destroying it. Even if Tobias survives the encounter, the destruction of his family's mech should show to his mother that the Arcturian guards are undeserving of such preferential treatment. Cool. No bonus loot there. And what I might do is... Because we have 30 odd days to repair... The hatch, the is it one of the mechs basically? We're gonna go over there and pick up some cantina missions and see if we can start earning some extra pay because I want that um, big guy, the uh, charger. That's what I want. I would love to get a charger. Let's see what we can get. Okay, collect 10 machine gun tier 10s. Not entirely impossible. And collect treasure, fine, kill 30 ground vehicles. Entirely possible. Cool, let's see what is here. AC-10, AC-20. Assault hammer fists. It's not expensive, I'm going to pick it up. Uh, heavy knuckles, we're going to pick that up. And, I mean, there's one of what we need there. Medium hammer fist. I'll pick one of those up. I'm only, gonna, I'm only gonna pick one of each up so that we know what goes where and how it all works, basically. And I'm pretty sure we picked up some large chem lasers, did we not? No. Maybe not. It's fine. Uh, Meg Market. There's a freaking hatchet man for sale. There's also a hunchback. 
four SP. Hmm. It's four point four million C bills. No, I want the big guy. So we're going to leave that and. Whatever equipment is here, nothing. LRM 15, LRM 2 streak, LRM 2 streak. No, we are going to leave all that, so that is fine. And. Stomach! Well, we might as well. No, we're going to go back. We're just going to go back and complete the mission. It's all good. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we... As it, um, kill the catapult mission, isn't it? Won't be too bad, actually, because we've got the... them hatchet man now. And let's just check the equipment. There is no machine guns tier garbage. Let's see... To be fair, that mission might be worth doing after this, or at some point before we leave this planet. And, yeah, four sea build payouts looks good. And we have no more available, so let's go for it. You're still being worked on. Four more days. You know what? I am going to swap you for the blackjack. We actually have 10 tons available. So, going to swap you for the Hatchet Man. And we are over tonnage. But I think I can get away with it. Because we're only losing 3% of our tonnage, um, pay, sorry. And minus one salvage. And the salvage doesn't really. I mean, I'm only getting three anyway, so minus one is not a great deal. But anyway, let's go for it. So that does mean that we uh, we could technically drop the charger in Nearly almost there, every Commander. mission after this. Once we get by it, obviously. Tobias Klein, son of Defiance Industries board member Emma Klein, has been discovered to be serving with the Octura Guards. The independent people of Sky believe that Tobias's current assignment to the Guards is one of... Yep, stop talking. I've got to do something, and that is... That. Cool. Let's resume talking. Okay, so it's clearly going to be over at that base, but we might as well take this base out so that we can test out our mech and um, get rid of everything that could shoot us in the back. If there's anything here at all. Looks like we got some bad intel. Our target is not here. Let's hope we have better look at the other locations. Why are you walking backwards? Strange creatures. Ooh. Yeah. Possibly should have tried to go for the hatchet attack, but I didn't. Because I don't, I don't know why. I have no idea why. I kind of forgot that I had it for a second. That's a blackjack. Careful engaging that guy because he's quite dangerous in what he can on the target. Take them out. in the damage he can do. But he's made of paper, so he's quite easy to take out. And right, can we catch up with him? Well, there's actually a cooldown on our weapons. Interesting. So we can't just keep smashing them with our weapons. 
That's fine. Cicada. Oh, we missed. Where did the catapult go? Ready to start pickup operation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, more ammo by the looks of things. Lots of ammo. So having one bit of ammo is actually quite useful if they're going to keep giving you free ammo all the time. No, missed. Oh. Clipped him. Damn. Right, let's go for the big guy. Because we can underrun him. And smash the crap out of him. Basically down to two small lasers when we're in melee range. Lost it for a second. Uh, he's gone. Oh, we take a lot of damage. And that's in a torso. Tobias has been taken out. Mission complete. Now, get back to the OZ and we'll get you out of here. Yeah, let's uh, go. Because I don't want to lose my mech. If I can help it, that is. That's our dropship. Good. There is Assassin. Let's try not to get taken out before we get onto the dropship, or in the circle at least. Aha! Through the legs and got the kill on the tank. Love it. Okay, so we're looking good there. Two million sea bills in payout. Absolutely love that. That's a catapult. But it's obviously 21 salvage. We would never have had 21 salvage, so I'm not really losing it. And yeah, I'll take the LRM-23. It's the best weapon there, and not much else is good, really. So, we get another view transmission. So, your performance up to this point has been exemplary, but we fear that your efficiency might make our objectives here too transparent to the outside observer. This could potentially lead to the Arturan guards identifying, identifying our organization, which is something we cannot risk. For our safe, for our own safety, we'll need to throw the guards off our trail by attacking a military target, making this entire endeavor appear more as a clandestine military raid. We've identified a remote outpost that contains the Arcturan Guards backup data center. Destroying this facility won't be enough to compromise Ben Fled's security, but should be enough for our actions here to appear that our objectives here were the destruction of this data center and not the systematic strikes against the Arcturian guards themselves. We get three mysterious objective rewards. So that'll be good. And let's see, you didn't take much damage, good. You took a fair amount of damage, 18 days. I can live with that. You are fine. You are fine. Awesome. What I might do is go ahead and give me some more. yeah. Sell you. It's half a million. Fine. And commando. Yeah, I'm gonna sell you. It's not much more, but it's getting me closer to I don't even, you've got two small lasers. You're going. That's 1.2 million. That's better. 7.6 million. I mean, I'm down, down to six mechs now, but we are getting closer to that charger. 9.7. 9 oh, yeah, we're in Steiner space, and I don't like this anymore. So the price has gone up. Hmm. Although, not really. It's still indifferent. No, they were, we were liked by them. So, yes. It has gone down slightly. We can 
by a dervish. And that is actually a pretty good dervish because it has four missile hard points. It's completely trashed at the moment, but... There's also the griffin, which is even more trashed. But actually, it's only got two weapon hard points. I think the dervish would probably be the better option. Um, but I kind of want to see if I can get the charge up. So we're going to leave that for now on buying stuff. Uh, one thing I'm going to check is no tier garbage, sadly. No. Nothing there. Fine. We will do one last mission. No, we're not. So we're going to do the next, this next mission in the next video. We've done three missions. I think there's only five missions or six missions in the Call to Arms playthrough. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to go through and see if we can get... I want the Black Knights. And I think there's a Atlas melee version. Or the uh, Call to Arms melee version. So we're going to see if we can get that. It hopefully will be in there somewhere. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And I shall see you next time for some more melee destruction.